the Sun and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to this third reflection in the novena between Ascension and Pentecost. I'm going to again begin reading from St John's Gospel and this, like yesterday, is part of the discourse that Jesus is having with his disciples before his arrest on the evening of Monday, Thursday. Jesus said, On that day you will ask in my name. I do not say to you that I will ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. As we consider these words, we consider whether we do love Jesus and what it means to love Jesus. Is Jesus just a figment of our imagination, or as some people have argued, a conveniently constructed figure in history? Are the actions of Jesus real? We know that so many were crucified in the first century. Jesus was one of possibly thousands. We know that many others also claimed to be the Messiah, the Chosen One. So Jesus was again one perhaps of many hundreds. And why is it that 2,000 years later I find myself standing on a rather chilly evening in May talking about Jesus' words? I think it's because the person of Christ speaks so deeply and has spoken so deeply into the hearts of so many throughout the centuries, that there has become something so real about Christ's presence in people's lives, that Christ is very real to us today. That even though Christ ascended in the story we heard two days ago, the presence of Christ, the incarnation into our hearts remains very real. And if we can allow ourselves to enter into that reality of Christ, and then to follow the stories that we hear narrated in the four Gospels, I think we come to understand how we love Christ, love the way that Christ acts, love the way that Christ is in some ways given to us by the Father. And this, in its mysterious way, in prayer, keeps Christ alive in our hearts and keeps us alert and alive to Christ all around us. And it's no more vividly captured than in that prayer. The prayer in which Jesus taught us to call God our Father and asked us to have the courage to say. And in the Christian tradition, this is the prayer we should say not once, not twice, but thrice during the day. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.